Uh, my, I hate to interrupt whatever this is, but what is this? Yeah, what is this? Shay, do you live here? No, but my boyfriend... Okay, then. So shut your ass up and be seen and not heard. I don't understand why you would want to be somewhere where you are not welcomed nor wanted. Tamika, I just came to apologize to you and Savan about everything. Oh, you mean about what your brother did? I hope that you both can forgive me. Well, they don't. And Savan, why do you keep looking at her like that? Like what? Like he wants to be over here and not over there? But he is not over there. You are absolutely correct. A mutual decision that me and him both made. And in result, he went and found the easiest hoe to fuck on. Girl, I'm never easy. Me and him are actually in an exclusive relationship. An exclusive relationship that has resulted in several unwanted pregnancies and chlamydia that you have contracted and served. How do you know about that? Listen, I am not here for this. Well, I am. I've been waiting for an encounter with you. And an encounter with me is something that you cannot afford. Do not write a check that you cannot cash. Bitch, I'm rich. Let's go. You really came here because you want my man back. And to be quite honest, I can have him back by the snap of a finger. So snap it. Oops. Now that I am back in the picture, I understand that you are not wanted nor welcomed here. Is that true or false? Savon! Oh, you clueless hoe. Looking to him for direction is not going to save you. What was your name again? Shay! Uh, uh, I mean Shay! Oh, poor thing. Your head must be spinning. You can't even gather your thoughts. Bitch, I will fight you! Do you know how many hoes that he has been with that have wanted to fight me but were all unsuccessful? I ain't these other hoes. I will really fight you. Hmm. That may be true, but what would I gain from fighting a bitch who meant absolutely nothing to him? I did mean something. Probably for a good two to three minutes on your back. But even then, I know you've heard him whisper the name Jasmine a few times. You probably even heard him whisper my name while he's dreaming. Tap out whenever you're ready. Bitch, you know what? No, I don't know. I do have a question, though. What would you like your method of transportation to be? An Uber or a bus? I'm a rich bitch. I don't ride either of those. How will you be getting home, then? Savan is going to take me. I do apologize, but he is currently unavailable at this time. Please select another option. Tanika, please make her stop. Oh, dear Shay. Now that it's between you two women, I will not get involved. When you leave, then I will stop. Until then, can we discuss why your hair has no part in the middle? Did you put the wig on backwards? <gasps> Did you decide on what your method of transportation will be? Savant, you are too old to be having dad's weekends. So what are you doing here? It's Savon, and I was hoping I could speak to my father. Anything you have to say to my husband, you can say in front of me. You ain't my dad, Karen. Where is he at? Well, he's at work. Something you clearly have no experience in. Savon, what's going on? I haven't seen you in almost a year. I thought you said he was at work. Honey, your son's here. Dad, can I please speak to you in private? No, you cannot. You are in my establishment and you will speak in front of me. Relax. So anything you got to say to me, you can say in front of my wife. My mom kicked me out. Well, that's too bad. But don't worry, my best friend, Caitlin, owns a homeless shelter. And if you leave right now, you might be able to catch them before they fill their last bed. I'll go ahead and give her a call and let her know you're on the way. Karen, you are not putting my son in a homeless shelter. Michael, oh my God. We can't just leave him out on the street. You're right, which is exactly why he'll be staying here with us. No! I mean, we have three children and only 10 bedrooms. Where would he sleep? We have no room, honey. I'll clean out my office. You can sleep in there. Uh, Michael, you aren't asking the right questions here. Why were you kicked out in the first place, Savant? 
Well, I didn't have a job at the time, and my mom said that she got tired of taking care of me, so she kicked me out so she can save some money. Well, you know, this is my house, my rules. You will be getting a job so you can provide for your son. No exceptions. Ugh, fine. You can stay in your father's office. But, Savant, be mindful of what you wear when you're coming in and out of the house. This is an all-white neighborhood. They're not used to seeing... Niagara's. What? Blacks. There are black people in this neighborhood. Yeah, that cut the grass. But none of them own a home here. My mom actually lives up the street. Her entire house actually looks like this. I don't want to see any whores in my house. I don't want to see any of your boys from the hood in my house. You will not become a bad influence on my sons. I don't want them seeing that. Noted. Also, note this. When my parents are in town, I need you to dress up like a waiter. Karen, what the hell? Now, honey, you know that you're the only colored that my parents accept. My father has a bad heart. And if he sees another colored with a do-rag, he'll have a heart attack. Son, everything's gonna be okay, all right? And tomorrow I'll go and talk to your mother. No, no. I don't want her to know where I'm at. Well, that's too bad. I'm gonna have a conversation with her. I wanna rub in her face that her son was homeless and I took him off the street. I don't think she would wanna see you. So please, just leave it alone. It's fine. Um, Can my son visit from time to time? Oh, yes, that's good. Your son is black. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. Because... We can adopt him. We can adopt him. And I can tell all my friends I adopted a black baby. From Africa. Our kids are black. Michael. This is my last time telling you that my children are biracial. They're not black. You want to not address them as such. If you cannot say they're biracial, simply tell people that they are white. Never black. Dad, can you tell Carter to stop putting the toilet seat down after he's used the bathroom? Kendall, your brother is sitting right there telling yourself. Carter, stop putting the toilet seat down after you use the bathroom. You should be condemned for making such requests. It's a toilet seat. I know you have trouble comprehending what is being explained to you, but the seat goes down. Goes down for what? Are you sitting when you take a piss? There's nothing but men in this house. It doesn't need to go down, it needs to stay up. Sometimes I wonder how we are related because you lack basic human decency. You're disgusting, you're vile, you have no morals or home training. I don't have time to be lifting the toilet seat up when I need to take a piss, Carter. Kendall, I am not interested in hearing about your process on how you relieve yourself. Because I am far more intelligent than you and because I am older and wiser than you, I will no longer be engaging in this appalling conversation. Dad, get him. <laughs> Get me for what? You're upset because, like any other normal human being, I put the toilet seat down because that is where it belongs. You rather leave it up because, let's be honest, you cannot aim properly. I can aim! You have urinated on the rim of the toilet seat, behind the toilet seat, and on the floor. You aim everywhere else but in the center of the toilet seat. Kiss my ass, Carter! Tell me something, Kendall. Where do you place your ass when you need to take a shit? Do you sit on the rim of the toilet or do you lift the seat down? Based on the temper tantrum you are throwing, I'd say you don't know where to be seated. Dad! Kendall, what's wrong with you lifting the toilet seat up, son? I don't want to put it down. Okay, do me a favor. Take this conversation to another location before I go upstairs and I take that entire toilet out the bathroom. Then you ain't got to worry about if the toilet seat is up or down. Because there is no toilet. What's up, mama? Leave me alone, Kyrie. I'm not in the mood. Oh, good. Then I can tell you about your other son's whereabouts. I know where all my children are. Do you? Do you really know? If you know something and you're withholding information, I'm gonna beat your ass too. Savon told you that he was at the movies with Jasmine and that they're spending time with each other today, but he's actually not even with Jasmine. He's with Shay. And they're out somewhere shopping using your credit card.
And Brian told you that he's hanging out with his friend Katrina today because she's back from basic training. But Katrina doesn't come back from basic training for another four weeks around Thanksgiving time. Now, I do know that Trenton's parents are out of town right now and he has the house to himself. <sighs> And I know he's tearing his ass up. Also, that stain that's on your sheet that you can't get off literally comes from Shay. Savon said that his bed was too small and he needed a king size mattress. So he used yours, mama. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. <laughs> now, I do have a few house rules though. One of them is to stay out of my way or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> <laughs> try locking me in one now. I want to see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind. Where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendra. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I- Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. <sighs> and by the way, Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's going to help me pay bills. Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I?
No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster. Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic, and that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you, and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility. And you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon is gone. He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you and Trenton been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Then what the hell happened? Because I will kill your father and everything that moves in his house. Boy, open your mouth and tell me what happened. Mom, you're scaring me, and I don't want to be responsible for somebody dying. Brian, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You... Gentle parenting activated. Baby, you need to tell Mama what happened, okay? It's going to be okay. You are not in any trouble. But you need to tell me what happened so I can take care of it. Okay? I saw my dad with another woman. another woman in your dad's house yeah yeah oh baby brian <laughs> your daddy has cheated on me multiple times i know y'all have seen a hundred women in my house okay that ain't nothing new your daddy is a dog okay and there's nothing you or me can do about it i'm sorry baby i'm sorry but it's karen we don't care about karen let him cheat on karen he ain't cheating on your mama and that's all that matters <laughs> Oh my God, Brian, you had me worried. You had me thinking Karen had touched you or something. <laughs> because then I have to go see her. And then I have to beat that bitch down. No, then I have to put that bitch six feet under because she better never put her hands on my motherfucking kids. Ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just your daddy cheating on her. Boy, I don't care about that. What are you working on? Homework. Oh, that sounds terrible. So I went to dad's house the other day. But he wasn't there. It was just Karen Savon.
How'd that go? I'm pretty sure they're sleeping together. I just have to figure out a way to tell mama and throw you under the bus too. Kyrie, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever you tell mama is on you. I know how to deny it. You can deny it, but then I'll tell dad that you tell mama that he was cheating on Karen. And you can't deny that because mama heard it too. What do you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what I need. And I need to see violence. So I'm gonna tell mama. I will literally give you anything. I'm mm, sure you would, but I must warn you, Karen already paid me $5,000 to keep my mouth shut and I'm still telling mama. So if I scammed her, what makes you think I won't scam you? So let me get this straight. You let Karen pay you $5,000 just so you can keep your mouth shut? I did. I know keeping secrets from me is dangerous, so go ahead and spit it out. Mama Karen is sleeping with Savon. She also paid Kyrie $5,000 to keep his mouth shut. And I know this because Kyrie just told me. Well played. Well played. You said that Karen is sleeping with Savon? That's what Kyrie said. Does your father know? Leave it alone. Mama! Savon can't come back here. He has not apologized yet. And if I tell his father, he will be kicked out and left on the street. Mom, this is an opportunity to let Savon come back here. Hell no! Especially since he done slept with that snow demon. He can stay his ass right there. As for Karen, she will be handled. Oh, Mama, how will she be handled? And may I watch? You may hand me your entire freedom along with that $5,000 and get the fuck out of my face. Well played. Because that is definitely some shit I would have did to you. Bye, Kyrie! I'm gone. Mama, how are you not mad at Karen? Brian, look, I know you miss your brother, but Savan is grown and has put me through enough, okay? He clearly is trying to get back at me. And I'm not going to let him. Instead of me reacting, I am choosing not to respond. Something I have never done before. Now, had it been y'all, oh, then me and that bitch got a problem. She paid Kyrie $5,000. So now me and that bitch got a problem. And she will have to see me. But as for Savon, I am not addressing him because that's what he wants. That bitch got my ex-husband and now she got my son. And I am choosing not to react. Pat a bitch on the back. Michael, what is this about? Did you know? Did I know what? I came home earlier and caught Karen on top of Savon. <gasps> Did you know? Of course not. Savon, how could you? That is your father's wife. Cut the crap, Tamika. Kyrie called me and told me that he told you and you told him and Brian to leave it alone?
What type of shit is that? Don't worry about it. I'll handle you in a minute. Handle me? Karen. When did it start? When did it start, bitch? Oh, a week after he came. A week after he came. <sighs> Why? I opened my house up to you. Tell me why. Dad. Shut up! Karen. Did you pay my youngest son $5,000 to keep his mouth shut? Our son Kalani? My other youngest son. Oh. The black one. Bitch! Bitch, are you serious right now? No! Are you serious right now? Karen, really? My son! My fucking son! My son, Karen! Really? My fucking son! Get out! I'm fucking scared! Don't think you're fucking here! You will be going to stay with my mother. And I don't ever want to see you again. Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Um, I'll go ahead and get out of your way. Kyrie. The next time you want to go and run your mouth to your daddy about shit that I say at my motherfucking house, make sure you go pack your bags and go stay with him. You can't get mad at me for something I told my daddy. I told y'all to leave it alone and you still went and tested it. Yeah, after you grounded me and took $5,000 from me, I was upset and decided to call my dad and tell him about what I experienced. Kyrie, I'm not about to go back and forth with you. I ain't whooped your ass in a hot ass minute, but please understand that I will go back to putting my hands on you. What happened to gentle parenting, Tamika? I don't have the desire to be gentle with your ass. You want to continue to have a slick ass mouth? Then it's going to stay rough around here. What you got? So that New Year's Eve party you let me go to, I was, I was drinking. I took some shots. <laughs> that ass is grass. And I smoked out the hookah. Mama, just go ahead and take my entire freedom away. Oh, yeah, go ahead and kill him, Mama. Um, okay. How many shots did you take and how many times did you hit the hookah? Um, I took three shots and only hit the hookah like twice. What's three plus two? Five. You're grounded for five months. Please do not engage in shit that you have no business engaging in at the age of 17, or I will have to engage in that ass a little more aggressively next time. Yes, ma'am, it won't happen again. See that it doesn't. Gentle parenting.
See, that's that's that favoritism because Kyrie gets threatened all the time and grounded for a year. Because Kyrie is a different type of child that requires a more heavy approach of parenting. Come approach that, mama. Come approach. Come heavy. Get your ass out of my motherfucking kitchen. Mika, help me find a man. I need a man. Mama, let me help you find somewhere to live. You need a house. See, not once did I talk to you, your sisters, or your brothers like that when y'all was growing up. I took care of y'all. The least y'all could do is let me stay with y'all when I need a place to stay. You kicked all of us out once we hit the age of 18, mama. You're only 55 years old and more than capable of living on your own. Plus, I have Brian, Kyrie, and Kendrick here. I don't have the space for you. Where's Savon at? She kicked him out. You kicked my grandbaby out? And how old is Savon? 19? But I'm the monster for kicking y'all out at 18. You ain't no different. Like mother, like daughter. Savon disrespected my house in many ways that cannot be forgiven. So did you and Tanya with my ex-husband, Earl. Hmm. And did I hear you say Kendrick was living here? Yes, and he is amazing. He helps around the house. He helps with bills. Oh, he ain't asked you to borrow money yet? No, he has his own job. He ain't opened up a credit card in your name? Why would he do that? He ain't listed your house on an Airbnb yet. What? Mika, tell that boy it's time for him to go. Mama, what do you know? Enough to warn my daughter about him. Uh, I gotta go. Mika, let me use your car. No. You know what? I'll just walk. Matter of fact, I'll call an Uber. <laughs> Sounds good to me. See, y'all don't care about me. But when I'm somewhere, I did not ask that Uber driver to take me. Fighting for my virginity in the backseat of his car? Y'all don't care. Your virginity expired long before I came into this world. And you had me at 15. Can you call me an Uber driver, please? Brian, get your grandmother an Uber. Thank you, Kyrie. Oh, I mean, Brian, my bad. Hey, cousin. Hey, Brian. Hey. What was uh, Aunt Tammy doing here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I actually wanted to talk to you about a business opportunity. Okay. So, I want to open up my own business, of course, but I want to bring you on as a business partner. Not interested. Oh, um, well, okay. Well, maybe, um, well, cousin, maybe you can help me up with some of the startup money. Kendrick, all that money you got from your dad's life insurance, what happened to it? Oh, um, I, um... <laughs> Um, it, um, hold on, my phone's upstairs and I can hear it ringing. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Mama, his phone was in his hand. Mm -hmm. It was. What can I do for you? I wonder how a ghetto hood rat bitch like yourself was able to obtain a house of this magnitude. Let alone be allowed to live in this neighborhood with people who are far more superior than you. See, the old me would have slaughtered you before you could even fix your mouth to say something. But I am in such a good place in life that not even my ex-husband's white whore 
could upset me. I am a very rich housewife who wants for nothing in this life. No, just a new nose or breast or ass. <laughs> Your pimp daddy must have gotten you this house. Did I see you shopping in luxuries and beyond the other day? You can't even afford a sample in that store. What are you doing in there? Well, effective this past Monday, I am the new store manager. I'm there five days a week. You're the store manager? How are you the store manager? And what happened to Beth, who's been the store manager for the last 14 years? Karen, effective today, you are now banned from my store. You are not allowed on the premises. And if you are seen, the local authorities will be notified. You will fix your vocabulary. You cannot speak like that to a superior white woman such as myself, let alone ban me from a store that I've done nothing wrong in. Well, you came to the home of the store manager and threatened me. I do not feel safe with you in my store. And I will explain that to the police. <gasps> Just call me the Black Karen. I have spent thousands in that store. And while we do appreciate you spending your husband's money in our store, you will not be missed. And there will be other customers who will spend just as more. God, you are so ugly with wrinkles. I thought you got Botox. You bitch! I came in here to tell you that I have something in my home that belongs to you. Oh, Karen, Michael does not belong to me anymore. I mean, yes, he has cheated on you several times with me, and he was even sweet enough to pay off my last house with your children's trust fund. He did what? Wiped their little futures completely out. I mean, there's not even a dime left for them. You are so Savon was seen at my best friend's homeless shelter and I went to pick him up and now he's living in my home. My son is living with you and Michael didn't tell me? He doesn't have to tell you anything, bitch. As a matter of fact, Savon didn't even want you to know because you're a horrible mother. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, cousin, I cleaned the kitchen for you. Curry, I thought I told you to clean the kitchen. My mom thought it didn't matter who cleaned the kitchen as long as it got done. I mean, that's what you tell me, Brian and Savon. Oh, it's, it's not a problem, cuz. I just wanted to help out around the house. Kendrick, I would tell my mama what's a problem and what is not. <laughs> Curry, you do know that technically I am an adult. Kendrick, you do know that male, female, infant, child, adult, senior citizen, or unicorn, I will still fight you? Enough! Kendrick, thank you for cleaning the kitchen. What do you want for dinner? You know what? Whatever Kyrie wants for dinner. I want seafood. Do you have seafood money? You got BD money and you make $87,000 a year. You got seafood from the Pacific Ocean money. What is BD money? You still get child support for me and Brian. <laughs> you know what, cuz? We can eat some tomato soup. I saw a few cans in the cabinet. Well, that's too damn bad because all four of those cans are Savans and he's not here, so they will not be touched. You know, I really don't care about this tomato soup situation. Mama, Kendrick, Mama, I already said what I wanted to eat, so why is that being disregarded? You're right. Your brother is gone. But this is my damn house. And everything in this house, I bought. Including that tomato soup that we will be eating for dinner. And Kyrie, start watching your damn mouth when you talk to me. You clearly are watching it for me, so why do I? Kyrie, say something else smart. Try it. Not only am I going to knock you dead in your shit, but I'm going to send you to live with your grandmother. Which one? Tammy. Tamika, I hope you don't mind I let myself in. As a matter of fact, I do mind, Pam. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Start locking your door. I just left my son's house and I saw my oldest grandchild is there. He told me that you kicked him out. Before you start, how are my Brian and Kyrie doing? I'm fine, Grandma. Kyrie. Grandma, I've been instructed not to speak or I will be sent to live in the projects. So you're just kicking all my grandkids out, huh? You know what, Pam? <laughs> I am getting real sick and tired of everybody thinking they can keep disrespecting me. If you are sick, seek medical attention. If you are tired, find somewhere to rest. I will not be questioned in my own home. Savon stole my credit card and brought a girl into my bedroom. Not that what goes on in my house is any of your damn business, but one can only take so much, Pam. 
I must rather kick him out than put my hands on him. And the same thing goes for Kyrie's disrespectful ass. Kyrie, from this point on, you would not disrespect your mother or I will cancel your PlayStation Plus membership. I turned that shit off three months ago. So you mean to tell me you went behind my back and went to your grandmother and got her to turn it back on? I was not aware. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't aware of the reason Savon got kicked out. I have raised these kids by myself without the help from your son or you. Nobody's going to tell me how to raise my damn kids. Now cancel his damn PlayStation membership. Does she have to be in the room? I was here before you got here. Why would I leave? Because I need to talk to Tamika. And I need to keep her out of jail. So for your protection, I'll stay. I came here to apologize for allowing Savon to use your credit card on me. I'm also sorry that he took me to a room that I did not know was yours. Jasmine, I don't know what you're smirking for, but this has nothing to do with you. So stay in the little corner and keep your mouth shut. Although me and Savon are no longer together, I want you to know that I was still with him when you decided to mess around with him. He cheated on you. Get over it. Okay, it's Thanksgiving. I'm not about to go back and forth with a female who has a prescription for Plan B pills. Shay. I told myself the next time that I saw you that I was going to put my hands on you. But I said, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. You left stains on my sheet. I had to burn my entire bed. And you think I give a fuck about your apology? <sighs> what am I supposed to do with that apology, Shay? You are a sick, disgusting little bitch. And you have disrespected me to the max. So I don't give a fuck about your apology. I'll wipe my ass with that shit. And make no mistake, the only reason why you are still sitting in that chair and I have not touched a hair that is attached to your braids, that is attached to your scalp, is because it is Thanksgiving and I cooked. And I would not be going to jail for assault with a deadly weapon. All right, Tamika, I'm gonna leave before the boys wake up. Greg, I told you, just leave quietly. You do not have to tell me when you're leaving. I do not give a fuck. Daddy? What the fuck did she just call you? Shay, what the hell are you doing here? Daddy, are you sleeping with my boyfriend's mom? Gregory. This is your daughter? Uh, well, well, baby, yeah, but I, I don't take care of her. She grown. She she take care of herself. I don't pay, I don't pay nothing. My money is still yours. Lord, what the hell is happening? What is happening? This, this is your child. Looks like you'll be seeing more of me. I'm looking for a I can call Jigaboo up. Yeah! Oh my God, you have missed a lot. Mama moved her cousin in your room. What cousin? Her cousin, Kendrick. Who was that? Exactly. And I told her, don't get too comfortable with him being here because Savon will be back. Savon, don't blow me. I need you back in that house. Mm, I like you here at dad's house, I ain't gonna lie. With Karen? <laughs> I mean, she really ain't that bad once you get inside of her. What? Once you get to know her, she really ain't that bad. Once you get to know her. Oh, okay. So the heart. Karen.
Bren. Brian. Whatever it is, it's from the ghetto. Brian is an American name, you trailer park built ass bitch. Why do all blacks think us superiors came from a trailer park? I personally have never seen the inside of a trailer. Good for you. Brian, it's Sunday. Shouldn't you be headed home? My father, you know, the one that is financing you, will be dropping me off. Now, if you excuse me, I was talking to my brother. Savan, you need to come back home. Mama misses you. No, she doesn't! Do not feed him those lies! Savan, you wouldn't leave me, would you? I'm not leaving. Oh, hell no. Savon, are you sleeping with her? No. I'm not. Let me find out, Savon, and I'm telling mama. And what is she gonna do? Five beatdowns later, and you are still asking what my mama is going to do. Are you sure you want to know? Why do I have a parent-teacher conference tomorrow morning, Kyrie? Because these teachers don't know how to watch their mouth. What did you do? It's always, what did Kyrie do? It's never, what did they do for Kyrie to do what he did? <laughs> you know what? When I was in school, let my mama get a phone call about me acting up. She would tear my ass up. <laughs> Shut up. No one is talking to you. It says here, Miss Jackson, Kyrie continues to be disrespectful in my class. I asked him to put his desk outside of the classroom and he refused to do so. Instead, he grabbed my desk and put it in the hallway and told me to go sit and think about the way I speak to him. I'm going to try this gentle parenting bullshit. I believe I just bought you the game God of War, correct? You did. And as soon as you're done, I'm going to go play it. No, you're not. You're going to go sit in your room. No TV, no phone, no PS5. Just white walls and silence. As for the game I just bought you, um, I believe I still have my receipt, so I will be returning it. Gentle parenting. You know what, Kyrie? Humbly speaking, you can learn a lot from me. Kendrick, arrogantly speaking, I still have both parents in my life, so I don't need shit from you. Kyrie! What is wrong with you? Apologize now! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kendrick, I am not sorry. You know what? There goes your PS5. I'll be donating that. And now you have to figure out a way to get a new one. And don't even think about asking your grandmothers. Kendrick, I'm so sorry. You want to go outside and talk? I, I just need a few minutes alone. When he comes back in here, you better apologize. Or you will never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. What happened to gentle parenting? <laughs> Gentle parenting is not compatible with my sons. Y'all seem to only listen when I'm being hostile and assaultive. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Why are you here, Kyrie? Brian's recent behavior has made me curious as to what he has seen here at Dad's house. What did he say he saw? I never said he saw anything, Savon. Is there something that you think he saw? Curry, shut up. Your mind tricks don't work on me. Nothing happened here. Ah, so he did lie to Mama. Lied to her about what? He said that he saw Dad cheating on Karen. But from his facial expression and your facial expression, I can tell that he was lying. Okay, quick. Your dad said he got stuck in a meeting and the boys decided to stay the night at a friend's house. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
Uh, Kyrie, now is not a good time. Oh, it seems like now is a good time for the both of you. I don't know what you're insinuating, but I don't like it. You two enjoy the rest of your day. No, wait, where are you going? Home. I'm going home to our beautiful mother. No, hell no, Kyrie, stay. We need to talk. Uh, Vani. Vani. Let him go. Yo, Karen, do me a favor. Shut up. Go comb your hair. Why? It's just going to get messed up again. Savon, big brother, I pray that mama has mercy on your soul because she is going to wipe her out. What do you want? My oh boy, there are some things that I cannot remain silent on. There is no amount of money in the world that will keep me quiet. $5,000 for you to keep your mouth shut. Cash at me right now. <sighs> Just like a black person. Okay, so you'll leave and say nothing, right? Oh, hell no. I'm about to go tell my mama. I'm gonna tell her that you've been sleeping with my brother and that you gave me $5,000 to join. Honey, that is no way to speak to your mother. But it's time to eat, and I made your favorite tuna casserole. Man, fuck out of here, mom. I don't want to eat no tuna casserole. Lack of seasoning probably ain't cooked all the way, bitch ass casserole. Fuck going on. You don't have to be rude. And you ain't gotta cook. Fine, I'll go bake. I'll go bake some chicken. Fuck out of here! Don't nobody want no lack of seasoning undercooked baked chicken wings, bitch. You ain't not. Come eat. Ten four. I'll go ahead and let you have him this weekend, Tamika, and then you can have him next weekend as well. So you don't see me standing here? Does that work, Tamika? That's fine. You're eventually going to have to communicate with me about my son. As long as you are broke living with your mother and she is paying child support, I will not. He's still my son. Biologically, yes. Mentally and financially, no. I'm here every time you drop my son off. For like an hour and then you're off with whichever hoe this is. My name is Shay. I didn't ask. But you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe. Would you prefer the term slut or whore? Girl, how many times have you been pregnant? I'll wait. Ugh, oh, enough. Versace, thank you for stopping. Tamika, your son gave me chlamydia. Mm-mm. I didn't give you anything. Savan, I've only been with you and only you. That was months ago, Carmen, and I've only been with you and Shay. I stand corrected, whore. Tamika, I'll go ahead and go. I see you have a bunch of STDs on your hand. I'll see you this weekend. So Brian, what was all that shit you were talking on Facebook?
you were saying something about cousins sleeping with cousins and I feel like that was directed towards me. You quiet as a mouse right now, but has so much fucking mouth on social media and now that I'm here, you ain't got shit to say. I don't be talking about all the shit you be taking up your ass, but you have the audacity to talk about me and other family members. What I do with other family members is my business. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. Say something, I'm gonna throw this water on you. you to take it down a couple of notches my daughter called you gay okay so what that is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her i'm tara that is not what happened brian what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter tara i don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at but it ain't my child so i'm gonna ask you again take it down a couple of notches or it will get real aggressive around here Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? <laughs> I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now, according to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes. Yes. Tamika, because he is a male, he should have sat there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, Mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you're gonna tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Tarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama. What are you doing that nasty? He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika! Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton. Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my... I, oh, 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 I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I don't remember Kyrie. Kyrie! I need to know why I had to have a friend drop me off here. 
when one of you bitches could have came and picked me up from the airport. Mama, please, we have a serious situation that is going on right now that requires your attention. Well, I ain't got no money, so... Mama, we don't need no money. Tariqa, tell your grandmother what's been going on. Grandma, all your grandsons have been trying to make a pass at me. Be specific, you little bitch, because you have yet to answer my question on Kyrie. I already told you I didn't touch Kyrie. Who in the hell are you bucking yet, Tariqa? Tamika. Y'all flew me down here to tell me that Tarika been hoeing with her cousins? Not just her cousins, but Tommy too. Tommy? My son Tommy? Your uncle Tommy? Tarika, that is just foul. But I'm not surprised. You get it from your mama. Excuse me? Well, you slept with my ex-husband Earl. And now look at your daughter. Sleeping with your brother. <laughs> Mama, what are you going to do about this situation? Your granddaughter just sat here and told you she is sleeping with everybody in the family. Tara, I don't know what you expect me to do. If I couldn't keep you, Tamika, or Tanya's legs closed, what makes you think I can keep Tarika's legs closed? Wow, I expect nothing less from you. And you know what? Your ex-husband, Earl, was nasty. He came on to me and Tamika. And both you bitches obliged. Okay, mama, I believe that ticket was round trip. Do you need somebody to drop you back off at the airport? Oh, well, that is very thoughtful coming from you, Tamika. But no, my dear friend Jasmine will be dropping me back off at the airport. Who? Oh. matching again ma i got all a's and a b in spanish i don't like all these different letters brian mom just in case you didn't know normal parents will be okay when their child gets a's and b's i'm black and i have a b in spanish i know espanol the problem is i brag to my friends about you being a straight a student and yet there is nothing straight about this report card why are you bragging to your miserable no man having divorce club friends about my report card because they like to brag about their kids my friend Michelle likes to brag about her son Eric and how he's valid Victorian at his school. Bitch, my son Brian has a four-year scholarship to Harvard. I'm not going to Harvard. Damn it, Brian, why? Because Trenton got accepted into a two-year college here in Texas. Trenton does not have a four-year scholarship. Let me get this straight. You can pick any university on the planet, but you are choosing to follow that damn boy to a two-year college. Kyrie, tell mama to look at your report card so she can get off my back. I haven't even touched the surface of your back. We will finish this conversation later. Jesus, Kyrie, you got an F in math. Ma, I don't know what she was thinking when you saw my report card. Everybody can't be Brian and get all A's and B's and get four-year scholarships. Mama, I know you were not somewhere smoking with my child. Tamika Savon ain't no child no more. He is 19 years old with a child of his own. Is this what your life has become, Savon? No job, living with your mother, a child that I'm taking care of, and now smoking with your grandmother? You know what? Yes. Yes. I'm a bum, and I'm proud of it. You're so focused on Brian and what school he's going to attend okay. that you're not even focused on me and Kyrie. Because if you were, you'd known that I got a job at Wendy's. Flipping unseasoned patties. What an accomplishment. Shut your bougie ass up. You think you better than me? I am what you felt to be, and you're the oldest. Bring your bitch ass over here and say that shit. Now, Savon, you know you don't want me to come over there and say it again. I will beat your ass, oldest and all. What is going on? Tamika, what have you been doing to my grandbabies? Grandma, she hasn't been doing anything with me and Savon. Just her pride and joy, Brian. Where is this coming from? Oh, gosh, Mama, that's a good question. Let's start with your lack of attention for me. You've missed two parent-teacher conferences so that you can go on college tours with Brian. 
Grandma, you want to go play bingo? You know, since my mama don't got time for me no more, you know, I don't have a four-year scholarship and all. You know what? Both of y'all can shut the fuck up. Because I do the best I can with what I am given. These parent-teacher conferences, your ass goes in my phone and you block the school number. And then you delete the emails from the school. Do you not? You don't want me talking to these teachers. And as for you, oh, you done lost your damn mind. I cannot help it that I have one child left who gives a flying fuck about his future. So I break my back to secure it. Now, feel free at any time to start giving a fuck about y'all's future. And I promise this back can break some more. Now, all four of y'all get the hell out of my kitchen. Uh, I'm the mama. You can't talk to me like that. You're the mama living with the daughter. I take care of you. Savon, on 10 20, 2022, you were home when I was falsely accused by Brian of stealing mama's car. Mama, your honor, can you please instruct the defendant to ask an actual question? I am asking a question, Your Honor. Savon, you were home with Jasmine watching TV. Objection. Cause for speculation. Sustained. Please ask an actual question, Curry. Savon, were you home that night? And did you see me leave my room? I don't remember. Well, let me help you remember. You were home that night with your door open. My room is across from yours. You would have seen me leave my room. Objection. Leading. Sustained. Did you see me leave my room? What do you mean? Your Honor, could you please instruct the witness to stop being a dumbass and answer my question? Answer the question, Savon. I didn't see you in your room. Yes, you did. Stop lying. You saw me in my room. Objection. Badgering. Badger these nuts, Brian. Sustained. Watch your mouth, Kyrie. Did you see me take Mama's car keys? I don't remember seeing you in your room and mama's car keys were gone. Is that because you went looking for them with the intentions of stealing the car for yourself? Objection. Withdrawn. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Next witness. Jasmine. Yes, sir. Did you at any time see Savon take my mama's car keys? Objection. Relevance. Did you see me leave my room? I honestly was not paying attention to your room. Is that because you were too busy being bent over? Objection. Cause for speculation. Speculate these nuts, Brian. Objection. Badgering. I do know that me and Savon were in the house all night and we heard a car start up. But Kyrie was nowhere to be found. Lies! Your Honor, this witness has been coached into saying that. I want a mistrial. You're grounded. Curry, you're grounded. All right. Oh, okay. Mama, my phone off. Yeah, mine too. Interesting. Mine isn't. Can you call at and and ask them why it's off? How was last weekend? Um, not that interesting. You and Katrina didn't have a good time, you know, hanging out? Uh, we did. We had fun. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I called her mom because I wanted her to stop by the house before she went back to basic training. And her mom told me that she won't be back home until Thanksgiving. So I guess I'm busted too. What do you mean? We lied about our whereabouts and Kyrie must have told you. But mama, I'm grown. I can do whatever I want. Oh, then leave. To be honest, Savon, I'm getting real sick and tired of taking care of your grown ass. Get the fuck out already so I can save some damn money. Leave and go where? I have nowhere to go. Sure you do. You can go live with Shay and tell that little bitch the next time I see her, I'm taking her down. WWE style. Because I know damn well you didn't steal my credit card and spent money on that little whore. Mama. I said I wasn't going to kick you out ever again. 
But you know what? Effective immediately, I want you out of my damn house. All because I stole your credit card? And because your sick ass decided to lay Shay's ass down in my bedroom and didn't even have the decency to replace my damn sheets. Alright, that was a mistake. But you know what? You do this, you'll never see your grandson again. Huh? <laughs> you forgot that me and your baby mama, we're co-parents. You are just a part-time babysitter. Wow, mama. Wow, Savon, you stole my credit card and left stains on my sheet. You're dirty, and I am ashamed to be your mother right now. Mama! Brian! Your phone will be off for the rest of the year. Your outside activities are non-existent. The only time you will see the light of day is when you go to school, and I will be dropping you off and picking you up. Your social life is now canceled, along with your relationship to that damn boy.